Hi everybody, I'm just going to do a quick video here on um, floor area ratio in case there's um, some questions about that. Okay, so I'm looking at a land use map here, and when you look at a land use map, you're going to see an F number. So this one right here has an F 1.0, but it varies depending on your site. So just up here, there's an F 0.83 in that case, and so on and so forth. So it'll, it's all over the place. I mean, there's some sites that are F 20 um, or whatever. So Anyways, let's look at this F1. So what that F stands for is floor area ratio. So again, that would be defined, I don't actually know, maybe somewhere on the map. Um, I just know it off the top of my head, but there would be a definition for, here we go. F followed by a number indicates the maximum floor area ratio. Okay, so I'm just looking at that right there. Okay, so our floor area ratio is one in this case. Uh, we're to go here, let's just look at this one right here. I lost it, but let's say we're on that site. So what that means simply is, I'm just gonna to go to a sketch here. If we had a site that looked like this, that's our site plan right there. That's the property lines of our site. If this was a thousand square meters, okay, that site right there, you took the area of a thousand square meters. A floor area ratio means if we were to build a building you could build your building right up to the property lines, like so. And if you had one floor in that building, that would be a thousand square meters of floor. So your floor area ratio would be one because the floor area matches basically the site area. Okay, in reality, that's not what we have, right? So we always have setbacks or whatever on our site. So let's just draw in some setbacks here on our site. Okay, and now we want to build a building and we build our building like this. Okay. So now the area of our building there would say would be maybe 900 square meters or 800 square meters, let's say, okay? So we would not have, if you had a one-story building there with 800 square meters of floor area, um, then you would not have a floor area ratio of one. You'd have whatever, um, you'd have less than 1.8 floor area ratio. So to maximize it, you obviously want to get to um, 1,000. So how would you do that in this case? Well, in this case right here, you could say, well, okay, I'm just gonna add a, a little second floor right there. That gives me an extra 200 meters squared. Now I've got a 1,000 square meter floor plate on two floors, basically, which equals 1,000 square meters of site area. So I got a floor area ratio of one. So again, in reality, that's not typically what we do. Our sites tend to be a little more like maybe this right here. Okay, so maybe that's our building on the site. Okay, and um, let's just say that's, I don't know, 200 meters squared. Okay, so if that's only 200 meters squared, we could take the floor areas up to 1,000 square meters to reach a floor area ratio of one. So we could do five floors um, at 200 square meters. Okay, so you know, you'd have to look at that and say, okay, well, does, um, you know, does the building height allow that? So obviously that's the other side of it, right? So what, what's your building height allowance? Could you do five stories? But that's essentially how it works. So if I did a five story building, five stories, 200 square meters, that now works as a floor area ratio of one. Okay, so that's kind of how that works. Um, where you always want to look, if you get lost in stuff like this, um, just remember that the land use bylaw explains all of this. Okay, so it tells us this stuff. So um, if you're scratching your head on floor area ratio, I just went to the definitions of the land use bylaw. And it means the quotient of the total gross floor area of all buildings on a parcel divided by the area of the parcel. So one thing you want to make sure you pay attention to here is gross floor area. What does that include? So in a class earlier today, we were talking about how you don't have to include um, you know, service areas and stuff like that for parking. Um, but, you know, that was a different definition, basically. This one here, it says you are including. So includes all mechanical equipment areas and blah, blah, blah. So basically, it's very clear as to what's included in there.
Oh, and the other important thing to note here too, it's the sum of all the areas above grade. Okay, so you don't have to um, you don't have to count basements and parkades below grade. It's anything that's above grade. Okay, so hopefully that uh, clarifies what's happening um, with floor area ratio. And if there's any more questions regarding that, just let one of your instructors know. Thank you.